hi guys welcome back to my channel welcome to today's video yeah this is gonna be like a day in the life kind of video so i'm not doing anything serious here i'm just relaxing in nigeria so yeah i'm just now waking up actually they came to wake me up at 11 30 a.m to eat breakfast so i typically got breakfast in bed i was so tired the jet lag is still dealing with me seriously so just waking up to eat breakfast and I'm eating bread and eggs and tea, so yeah. to do some work <laughs> some work that I gave myself right so I told my sister to buy some things for me before we even got here so when she came and meet meet us at the airport she brought the stuff for me so I was just what I'm doing here just packing them up I'm gonna make a video in, to show you details of how I package my food stuff for safe handling and to make sure that it gets to America safe and sand so yeah i'm just packing this stuff up and labeling them and yeah that's what i'm doing right here some things that I'm not going to be taking with me these things I have to ship uh, through a shipping company because some things we cannot take on the plane with us for instance this nor cube because it has chicken written on it they will take it out, out they will trash it at the airport so I am going to be shipping those and I'm going to be shipping this cow skin and some other food items to make sure I am not exceeding the 23 kg 
I believe it's 23 kg. Is it 23 or 26? I don't know. I think it's 23 kg. So that's what I'm trying to do here to weigh it and to make sure I did not go over. I actually did one over by one kg here, so but I still have another luggage that I'm gonna put in food stuff because I do not want to mix food stuff with clothing if possible. I don't want my clothes to be spent of food, fish and stuff. So I have another luggage that I have designated for food items. So I switched my scale to kg. I brought this with me from from the United States, so I have to switch it because we use pounds when coming, so but when going back, it has to be kg. So that's what I am doing here. food stuff that my sister bought for me and this is honey beans and I have a budget of the things I want to ship I would I don't want it to exceed 50 kg every food items that I'm shipping so the beans was like over 10 kg so I'm trying to get some beans out I'm gonna give it to somebody so that's what I'm doing here I'm just taking some beans out so I can weigh it again so I don't want it to be over 10 kg but this was already like 12 kg or something around that number so yeah Gary and the Gary was perfect. I didn't have to take anything out. I think it was like nine point something kg. So is my yam flower which is also known as a lubo and I didn't have to take anything out of this one as well it was perfect for me
Down there, I also have palm oil, and the palm oil was perfect. And I'm waiting on something else that my mom was supposed to be getting me, which I will be showing you guys in another video because I don't have it yet. And here I have two different kinds of cow skin. I have the palm oil jebu and the white one. I love the white one better. Now I see the reason why my sister is selling me the white ones are better. The black ones have some kind of smell that I'm not really, really liking. So, but I need 10 kg of cow skin because I'm going to be shipping the cow skin separately with a different shipping company, which has a reason that I'm going to be discussing whenever I made a video about the shipping of the food items. So I'm going to need to buy more cow skin because I have only 5 kg here. So I need more to make 10 kg. So yeah. when I started eating so I was almost finished this is Amala with Begiri and Ewedu which is also known as Abula if you are from Oyo state part of Nigeria you will know what Abula means so yeah that's what I'm eating for lunch this is what my host made me and I'm so happy so yeah Ibadan city to see my in-laws and my my husband's cousin so we're gonna be there for a couple of days before we finally go to my parents house to see my siblings even though I've already seen them at the airport but I still miss some of my some I, see, I miss my nieces and nephews and stuff so we already put our big luggages in the car so we can leave as early as possible to beat the Lagos traffic you all know how that goes so yeah we only have our carry on luggages in here and our backpacks and I have the clothes that everybody's going to wear out I have our earphones so they can have something to enjoy themselves on the drive to Ibadan city so yeah thank you so much for watching this vlog or video and I would love to talk to you in my next one bye bye